Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. It's July 18th and I am going to seed start cucumber zucchini squash. I'm going to plant my mid-season summer crops. You have plenty of time. And why do you do that? Well, right now, I'm lucky enough to have zucchini, cucumbers and everything are thriving really well. They look great. They're producing. Next week, 100 degree heat rolls in. That's going to really beat up the cucumber plants, the zucchini plants. Squash and disease do tend to roll into my area about now, a couple weeks ago. They're going to basically kill off some of the plants. I can manage them, get great production, but I also plant new seeds in containers to get cucumbers, pepper, zucchini going in case my seeds don't you know, come out of the ground. So I have backups. I'm going to have backups in small containers, but I'm going to clear out this whole space. I'm actually going to move the uh, collards and kale that are in here to another place in the garden, but I'm just tired of spraying them. I've got plenty of red Russian kale in another place. So let me clear this out and I will show you how to plant seeds, cucumbers, squash, zucchini into this space, set up the soil so that you can plant mid-season right now and you will get these uh, vegetables towards the end of August and then in, into September. So the area is cleared out. Now we're not going to turn this, just FYI. If you ever wonder why you have like a garden bed that doesn't have any weed seeds and then you turn it you know to 10 12 inches weed seeds actually stay dormant if they're too deep so when you turn the soil you are actually bringing up more weed seeds that'll probably germinate all we're going to do here a couple handfuls of any granular organic fertilizer throw it around we're going to shape this mound back up and you know the fertilizer will get knocked around but after i shape it up we're going to dig the holes for the seeds. We're going to do squash in one hole, zucchini in one hole, a couple of cucumbers. So it's only going to be, I don't know, three to five plants in here. But wherever we're putting the seeds, we're going to dig the soil a little bit better, and mend it a little bit better, and this way we don't have to spend a lot of time turning all this. Anything that's sitting on top will wash down with the rain. We'll take care of it with a fish emulsion or organic water soluble. The plants will do really, really well. So it's 95 degrees already. Kind of fixed up the trench kind of fix up the mound, but there's no need to redig it. It's 95 degrees. It's way too hot. So this is where the cucumbers are going to go. Going to be using these tomato cages as trellises to get them started. Dig down, I don't know, what is that, six or eight inches. Handful of the organic and just mix it in nicely a couple more inches down. And that's all you really need to do to get the planting area set up. You could add in peat moss or coca core or compost or stuff if you have it. This is going to be the planting area, and I'll come and drop three seeds here and just push them in about an inch. So I'm going to set up the holes for the other plants, we'll plant the seeds, and then we're going to mulch. And when we mulch, we're going to mulch around them so we're not smothering the uh, germinating plants. They probably would come through anyway, but just leave it open, and we're going to mulch everything else, keep moisture in the area. Planting distance, make the plants anywhere from two to three feet apart. If they're a little bit further apart, they're a little easier to manage, and I am using birds, lots of nature, as I talked about in my last video, to get in there and pick off the caterpillars, worms, beetles, and stuff like that. So if you put more space between the plants, it's easier for the birds and predatory insects to get in there. All right, let me fix up the holes, we'll plant the seeds, mulch, and we'll finish up. All right, so the mulch is down. It's really important when you're in the middle of July, you're doing late mid-season gardening when the temperatures are going to get up to 100 degrees. Use mulch. It keeps the water on top of the surface and on the surface roots of the plants. So we have my yellow bush. We're going to do a yellow bush squash here. And I'm putting in four seeds. I'm only going to keep one or two because it's a bush variety. If it was a regular variety, I'd just keep one. Press it down one inch. Let it be. But I'm putting in four seeds because in case one doesn't germinate, it's the middle of the season, I don't want to have to replant in seven or ten days when the seed doesn't come up. So just thin them down. This is a round zucchini, different than the zucchinis have been growing. These are great for stuffing. I sell all these seeds at my seed shop. If you want to check that out. An inch deep and I will thin that to one plant. I also said I'm going to be starting in containers. Just wanted to show you the size. Just the little quart or the little pine containers, seed cells I get the warm season crops started sometimes in these trays. In case I have failures out in my garden, I have transplants that are three weeks, four weeks old, and I just pop them in the ground and they'll replace any problematic uh, plants that I have out here. 
I'm also going to be starting my cool weather fall season crops soon too. I'll be doing a video on that. Three national pickling cucumbers, seeds, press them down, they're good to go. And then we just have to water it in. Now, you could use the fish emulsion now. The plants don't need it. I'm going to save it and use it when the plants are six inches high or so, when they're really growing and they're going to need that water soluble fertilizer more. But you really want to soak them in now. And when you're in midsummer, you may have to water your garden outside every other day. You just don't want to soak the top like that. You got to give it a good inch of water, let it soak down six inches into the soil. But you want to keep watering because our plants have surface roots. And the sun bakes the surface, damages those roots. Yeah, the plants survive, but you want them to thrive. So lots of water means green plants and great production in your garden. If you're in doubt, water extra. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gives you some confidence to start your midsummer warm weather garden. If your plants are failing or you know the diseases and uh, problems are going to come into your garden, start some seeds now. You'll be able to harvest these late August, early September, and you'll be able to extend your gardening season all the way up until you get your frost. Thanks for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.